Hello guys, this is Jo here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be familiarizing the components of the psychrometric properties of air chart. This lecture will be helpful in getting properties of air at standard normal temperature and sea level pressure. Let's go and learn. In future video, we will be using the psychrometric chart SI unit version at normal temperature and sea level pressure. There are six or more, I say we have eight properties that are reflected here in this psychrometric chart. The first uh, property is the dry bulb temperature. This is the temperature that are reflected uh, that, or that are read from your thermometer this one is the axis of your dry bulb temperature this one this line so as you go to the left your dry bulb temperature decreases and as you go to the right your dry bulb temperature increases second is we have the saturation temperature or the wet bulb temperature so this is along the curve, outside curve, most outward curve. And as you go to the left, the curve, your value decreases. And as you go to the right, your value increases. Also, we have the relative humidity, this one. And this is the curve that are drawn and moves towards the outward left and as you go outward the value which is in percent also increases so this one will be at 100% this value here outward okay along with the saturation temperature also we have the specific volume uh, having a unit of cubic meter per kilogram dry air and from left to right your volume increases the value so this one we have 0 0.80 0 0.82 0 0.84 0 0.86 0 0.88 and so on another one is your humidity ratio so this is in grams of moisture per grams of dry air or sometimes you can see this to have in kilograms of h2o per kilogram of dry air and as you move upward the value of your one humidity ratio increases so like this one 10 12 14 and so on the sixth property is your enthalpy this is the total enthalpy. This is reflected by QS plus QL. Or the sensible heat associated in the dry bulb temperature. Okay, the QS is to have this value CP. While the QL okay, has this value to be determined from the formula humidity ratio times 251.501.3. Sorry, uh, I'll erase this one. This is 25. 
2501.3 plus 1.86, which is the CP. Water and the T, which is the dry bulb. Your Patent heat. So as you can see, as your humidity ratio increases, comes along with the increase of enthalpy, and also as your dry bulb temperature increases, also comes along with the increase of enthalpy which are both reflected from the QS plus the QL. In the upper left corner, we have your protractor where you can find the sensible heat over the total heat ratio. So we have the sensible heat ratio. This is the sensible heat ratio and the values are red from the inside okay and finally you have your enthalpy humidity ratio where the values are red from the outside of the protractor could help you in answering problems in air conditioning and other related topics in the next video, we will be getting in the air conditioning process. So thank you and have a great day.